Two liquids are contained in this bottle, isopropyl alcohol on top of a solution of sodium carbonate. It's tough to see it, but if I use this flashlight, you can see the interface between the two layers, right about there. The reason why you can see light at the interface is because impurities exist there. These impurities are made of small particles. Even though they're small, they're much, much larger than molecules. The particles are large enough to scatter light. So instead of all the light passing directly through the bottle, some of it gets scattered into the camera. So that's why you can see the interface. Now the top layer is comprised of isopropyl alcohol, which is a pure compound. As you can see, light from the flashlight easily passes through the isopropyl alcohol. The particles that make up the isopropyl alcohol are individual molecules. Individual molecules are much, much too small to scatter light, so you can't see it up here. This bottom layer is comprised of a mixture of water and sodium carbonate. So this mixture contains water, sodium ions, and carbonate ions. Let's test to see if the particles in this solution scatter light. As you can see, the light passes through the mixture of sodium carbonate, much like it does through the isopropyl alcohol. This tells us that the particles that make up the solution have been completely separated into individual water molecules and individual ions. I like to say the mixture has been thoroughly mixed all the way down to the molecular and ionic level. A mixture such as this is called a homogeneous mixture. A solution is another term used to describe homogeneous mixtures. Now let's mix up this whole bottle, the alcohol, the sodium carbonate solution, and let's see if this resulting super mixture is homogeneous. We'll test it with the flashlight. Oh wow, look at that. The light is scattered in this super mixture, the mixture of alcohol, water, sodium ions and carbonate ions. In this mixture, large associations of droplets of alcohol molecules are forming within the sodium carbonate solution. These droplets are large enough to scatter light. In this case, the scattered light helps us recognize that the mixture is not thoroughly mixed all the way down to the level of molecules and ions. A mixture that contains different discernible regions such as this is called a heterogeneous mixture. Now check this out. This particular heterogeneous mixture separates back into an alcohol layer on top and a sodium carbonate layer on the bottom over time. We can see this separation take place by shining light into the lower region. Sure enough, down here in the lower region, the light passes right on through, indicating that back down here in the lower region, the ions and molecules have been completely separated all the way down to the level of molecules and ions. We can see the interface, and we can see the region where everything is still mixed up. Let's see what happens if we shine light in this upper layer. Hey, now wait a minute. I thought that upper layer was made of pure alcohol. Well, if you look closely, and maybe you can't see it in the camera, but there are tiny bubbles of air that are traveling through the alcohol layer. So those bubbles are scattering the light. And that's why this upper layer is scattering light because it contains, well, a heterogeneous mixture of alcohol and air bubbles. Over time, all the air bubbles will rise to the surface and this will return to the pure compound of just isopropyl alcohol. Now it's fun to test if light will travel through some other substances to see if those substances are mixed fully all the way down to the level of molecules and ions. In this flask here is some water, which we know is a pure substance. It is a compound. And if I test this with my flashlight, I can see that the light passes through. It's not being scattered. Here I have what many people call a solution of soap and water. But if I pass light through it, we see that indeed that light is getting scattered. So it might not be appropriate to call this a solution of soap and water. Somehow it's a heterogeneous mixture. There are some particles in there that are scattering the light, which tells me that this mixture here, well, it's a heterogeneous one.